since it's been a while. Uh, what's new with you? I hope, I really do hope things are going well. I feel like when I say that in my intro, it might just sound like a weird shallow intro thing, but I really hope you're doing well. I feel like life is really, it can be really tough sometimes, you know, and it's, I don't know, it can be nice to know that people are at least rooting for you. Rooting for your well-being, you know. But, uh, I've been alright, I guess. So sorry I didn't upload last week. Uh, I felt a little bad. I mean, everybody was so understanding, and I really appreciate, I really appreciate your understanding. Like, it made me feel a little better. But, I typically have, like, a backup video ready to go in case I'm not able to record. And unfortunately, I had already used my backup video a couple of weeks ago, and I didn't have enough time between last week and the couple of weeks ago when I used the video to record a new backup. So, I just had to, had to take the L on that one. Today I was able to record a, a new backup video in case something like that happens again. It was so unfortunate though because I swear it was like everybody's car alarm decided to go off that day. Like they were trying to have a choir meet or something and all the cars just wanted to sing their little hearts out. Thought or somebody's going around trying to break into cars. Hard to say. But uh, yeah, like one one would stop. Another would start up a couple minutes later, and then there was, eventually that all stopped, but then somebody was just idling in their truck, their really loud truck, right outside my window, and I was like, ah, this isn't gonna happen, is it? Normally, I have like an entire day where I can just record when the opportunity arises, but I'm house-sitting slash dog-sitting for somebody, and so I only had the time when I, like, swung back to my apartment to wash my uniform and run some errands, and I only had, like, a two-hour window, and I, I could not record in those whole two hours. I tried, but enough excuses, I guess.
yesterday, or no, two days ago. Well, it'll be three days from when you see the video, but we got a tornado warning, and it's so funny to me because we don't normally get tornadoes, and growing up, I loved watching the Weather Channel. Like, I would watch it all the time. I was, like, obsessed with it, and I remember asking my mom all the time, I'm like, what do we do if there's a tornado? Like, what? what's our game plan, mom? And she would be like, oh, we don't get tornadoes. And I was like, okay, but like, what if we do? She's like, oh, we don't get tornadoes. Don't worry about it. I didn't know that was probably just something to shut up little me who was like obsessed with tornadoes. But then I went the rest of my life just assuming, oh, we don't get tornadoes here. And then a couple years ago, we actually got a tornado. And I, <laughs> I like sent a... I, like, sent the article to my mom, or, like, you know, like, the news was, like, blowing up about it, and I was just like, we don't get tornadoes, huh? Well, what do you call that? I was like, see, we should have had a game plan, you never know. Anyway, before that tornado, I probably wouldn't have taken a tornado warning seriously, but now I definitely, now I'm definitely a little more concerned when they're like, hey, we got a lot of wind, I'm like, oh, okay. I gotta believe you now because it happened once and now I, I'm not taking any chances. Um, like I won't say exactly where I live, but we do. I, I don't live in Tornado Valley or anything. Like I'm not in a particularly tornado-y place. It was kind of like a freak thing. But thought it was interesting. It's just been so stormy lately. Do you get a lot of rain where you live? Do you get a lot of tornadoes for that matter? Do you have a tornado game plan? It's important to have one. Even if you think you won't need one, it's good to be prepared for emergencies. Even if it seems silly.
this and I was like, okay, whatever, like, I do need to go, like, grocery shopping and do that, so I'll just leave and I'll come back and then I'll, I'll record afterwards. They blocked my car in. I couldn't, I couldn't get to my car, but they were also, like, moving pretty quick, so I was like, well, I guess I'll just wait for them to finish, like, I don't want to be like, all right, stop what you're doing and just move your truck. I mean, I'm sure I could have asked nicely, but they, they were moving pretty quick, so I was like, yeah, it's not an emergency, I'll just wait it out a bit, stack on some granola or something. But they eventually moved, but then, um, I think the apartment, one of the adjacent apartments to mine, is being renovated. Hopefully you can't hear any bumps or anything, but they were a lot louder earlier. So then I really couldn't record. I just had to, I had to go grocery shopping. And that was okay. But I was also worried I wouldn't be able to record this week because I was actually sick. Yeah, I had like a really bad cold. And it, luckily it's like mostly cleared up now. But I had a rough couple of days. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I was really, really stuffed up on my nose. It was mostly my nose. It started with a sore throat. And then I just was really congested and nasally. And I was like, oh, if this doesn't go away, I'm not gonna be able to record again. I'll just do like a no talking, like, type of video, maybe. But I was like, oh, that'd be great. Two weeks in a row. But that's okay. It is important to take breaks for you and for me, you know, especially if you're like, you know, sick or just tired and need to rest. It's important. But I have a lot of fun doing this, so, well, I could take a break. I don't really want to. I just enjoy it too much. I'm hoping to upload the video later today. so hoping copyright doesn't get me. I don't think it will, because it's gonna be Alice in Wonderland, and it's in public domain, so I think it's, like, good to go. So, I think I'll do that. But if it gets taken down, just know I tried. And I won't try again, because I'm not, not trying to get this channel taken down. I'm not, like, a big channel or anything, but... You know, I work too hard to find reading, gentle reading to be so relaxing and calming and soothing and I hope it helps, helps you fall asleep. I'll definitely have to do it in multiple parts, but hopefully it won't be like too many parts. I'll make it a playlist though, that way you can easily like see them all. videos, like video ideas ready to go, and I have, oh, sorry, I keep looking over at it because it's kind of creepy, but I did buy a wig because a while back somebody was like, oh, I want like a scalp massage video, and I was like, oh, that would be actually really nice, and I bought the wig, and, well, actually, I didn't buy the wig. What happened was I bought the wig, but Amazon, anyways, Amazon lost my package, and so I, I requested a refund. I was like, well, what the heck? And then, like, a week later, it showed up, and I was like, ah, well, now I feel like I stole, even though it was all legit. It was all legit. So I have my free wig waiting, waiting for me to do a video with, because then I could also do, like, a haircut video or, like, getting you ready for, like, a cosplay or, you know, something like that. Um, you know, lots of ideas. It's sitting on like a styrofoam mannequin head, but it makes this really crunchy sound. So it would be like giving a scalp massage to somebody whose skin or scalp is made out of like styrofoam, I guess, <laughs> made out of really crunchy styrofoam. So I tried putting a towel down before I put the wig down on it, and that seems to help. However, it now looks really, really scary. You would ask, like, well, wouldn't a towel over a mannequin head make it less scary? No. No, something about it's more, like, offsetting. 
um, because the hair is like on top of the towel. I don't know how to describe it. It's a little disturbing. So I have it facing the wall and I have a deadly fear that I'll walk into this room and it's gonna not be facing the wall. Uh, I don't like it. So I need to just hurry up and make the video, do an haircut video where I actually cut the wig and that way I can just get rid of it because I'm so scared. It's so childish, but I'm so scared. Um, but I'll eventually do that. I just, I just have to do it. But I just got suckered into like these videos because I really, I really like doing these ones. So then some of the other ones I have planned, I'm like, well, I'll do it next week. And then the next week I'm like, but I really want to do this video instead. Before you know it, some of them just kind of keep getting pushed. So if you ever make a video request, I will eventually get to it. You just might have to remind me about it. Okay, well, I'm going to have to take off. The moving truck has returned, so they're going to be a while. I will see you again.